Can't believe you made it through that separatist shooting gallery, Captain. Your ship isn't even scratched. It takes guts landing in the middle of a battlefield. Nice flying. Why would anyone fight over this dump of a world? Why does anybody fight over anything? There's money to be made. My name's Skavik. I'm picking up those blasters in your cargo hold. Excuse the rush, but uh, need to get out of here quick. This village used to be safe, but the Separatists are taking over. If I were you, I'd haul jets as soon as we're done. The sooner this is done, the better. Sounds like the bombing's getting closer. The Separatists will be right on top of us any minute. Here's your payment for making this run, Captain. As soon as I have those blasters, you'll be free to fly. Skavik, we've got a big problem. Separatists took over the local air defense cannon. Oh, slow down. Slow down, Corso. What are you talking about? They deployed some kind of remote control stations, hijacked the cannon's targeting computer. Damn Separatists just destroyed an incoming Republic transport. What's the big deal? Don't you get it? The Separatists can attack any starship coming in or out of here. With those remote control stations, the Separatists can override the air defense cannon's computer, turn that firepower against us any time they want. That's bad news, Captain. The Separatists will blast you out of the sky even if you think about taking off. The Separatists have remote control stations all over the area. You'll probably have to hit several before they lose control of that cannon. If I die, I want to be buried with my ship. Good luck. Hope we see you again. Let's move, Corso. We're running out of time. Captain, you there? It's Corso. We got trouble back at the hangar. Is my ship all right? For now, but maybe not much longer. Separatists are busting into the hangar. We're giving them a warm welcome, but we could use a hand. Skavik, get over here. Help me seal this hangar door. Skavik, what are you...
Ah, feels like a gun dark used my skull as a drum. Thanks for saving my hide, Captain. Skavik helped those Separatists get in here. He stabbed us in the back. That scum stole my shit! He took all the weapons, too. He and the Separatists must have been planning this all along. Hang on. Where's Torchy? I don't believe this. Skavik stole my blaster. Torchy's a genuine blast tech, all 25 with magnetomic adhesion grip and side-mounted rangefinder. She's too good for Skavik. We can't let him get away with it. He's not getting away with this. Come on. Come on, pick up, blast you. Oh, what's the matter, Corso? Did I hurt your feelings? Be thankful you're alive, kid. You realize you're a dead man, right? Better men than you have tried, so forgive me for not trembling. On behalf of Ord Mantel's glorious freedom fighters, I thank you for your blasters, your ship, and a big laugh. Have a nice day. I think you're celebrating a little early. It's no use. He cut the comm channel. He always was good at making an exit. Skavik stole my best blaster, but I guess it's not as bad as losing a whole starship. I feel for you, Captain. Listen, Skavik and I were working for a guy named Vito. When he finds out Skavik's a separatist, he'll want revenge just like you. Do yourself a favor and go talk to Vito in Fort Garnick. I guarantee he'll help get your ship back. Forts tend to be full of people I prefer to avoid, kid. Not to worry. The Republic Army runs Fort Garnick, but... They let the boss do as he pleases. He keeps their supply lines open. Vidu's a smart guy with connections everywhere. If anybody can find your ship, it's him. I have to lock down this hangar, but I'll send Vidu a hollow and tell him what's up. Fort Garnick isn't far from here. I'll see you and Vidu there soon, Captain. Welcome, Captain. I'm Vidu. Corso told me we've had a rough day. How about a drink to wash away our worries? Here's a toast to my favorite things. The best collection of artworks and exotic beverages in the whole system. And here's to the stupid separatists who destroyed it all. Between them and that backstabber Skavik, I am thoroughly ruined. The blasters Skavik stole in your ship belong to Rogan the Butcher. As employers go, he's not the most forgiving. Should I be terrified just because he calls himself the Butcher? He's killed enough people to fill a convoy of bulk freighters, and now we've crossed him. Rogan bought those blasters to protect his business from separatists. When he finds out what's happened, guess who dies first? The only way we're getting out of this alive is finding Skavik, your ship, and those stolen blasters. I've got an idea of where to start looking for Skavik. There's a guy named Reiki, who's an expert on separatists. Problem is, Reiki's stuck behind a Republic blockade. Troops have his village surrounded while they contain the separatists there. How do the separatists manage to take over a whole town? Separatists have sympathizers in every village, helping them hold towns they take over. Traitors. I'm friendly with the Republic commander in charge of the blockade. I can get you in and out of the village. But you'll have to earn that free pass by taking out a few Separatists to prove your loyalty. You up for that? I'd kill those scum just for kicks. Good. One less detail to worry about. Riki's village is running out of basic supplies thanks to the Republic blockade. Things are getting desperate in there. I'll pull together a survival kit. You smuggle it to Reiki, and he'll tell you a way to find Skavik. Reiki's at a hideout in Talaran Village. I'll send a message so he knows you're coming.
You're certainly not a resident here, and you're no separatist. You must be that hotshot freighter Captain Vidu described over the holo. These poor, starving ladies and I are very grateful for the supplies you've brought. If I wasn't so exhausted, I'd throw you a party. What are all these women doing here? Their husbands died defending Talaran against the Separatists. Poor things. Now, I look after them. Vidu said you're seeking information on a particular Separatist named Skavak. The only place to find personnel data like that is at Manit Point. I used to acquire quality goods at a discount on Manit Point. I discovered all manner of shortcuts through the island's warehouses. I kept detailed schematics of every maintenance passage and tunnel there. Unfortunately, I had to abandon those schematics when I fled Manit Point. You got a brilliant plan, right? I always have a brilliant plan. That's why I'm still alive. My schematics are still in my former home. However, I short-circuited the building's door and sealed it shut when I left. The only way to reopen the door is by disrupting Manit Point's power relays. Once you gain entry, you'll find my schematics cleverly disguised as an extraordinarily tedious treatise on bird watching. Don't worry. I'll teach you the code I use to conceal my schematics. You won't die of boredom reading about rare waterfowl. Now pay attention and listen carefully, because you really don't want to hear this twice. And replace every mention of the Mantellian flutter plume with the number three. Did you get all that? That is the most sadistic way to hide information I have ever heard. Then you clearly haven't lived enough. Once you read my schematics, the way into the Separatist computer station will become clear. Unfortunately, that only solves half your problems. The Separatists encrypt all their files. You'll need special equipment to decipher their data. That's Vidu's area of expertise, not mine. I'll uh, take those supplies now, if you don't mind. These poor ladies could use some cheering up. This party is all yours. Indeed it is. Life here may be perilous, but uh, it has its benefits. Be a sport and kill some Separatists on your way out of here. Goodbye, Captain. You must be the freighter Captain Vidu's expecting. It's a pleasure to meet you in person. I'm Sirena. What's a knockout like you doing in this dump? I'm here to enhance the aesthetics of Vidu's surroundings. He enjoys looking at pretty things while he works. I heard about what happened with Skavik can't say I'm surprised. I told Vidu not to trust that scoundrel. Vidu's putting on a brave face for me, but I can tell he's terrified. Is it bad? Should I be worried? Leave everything to me, sweetheart. It's comforting to know a confident man like you is taking care of things. I feel safer already. I suppose I shouldn't keep you any longer. Vidu might get the wrong idea about us. If he's gonna suspect anyway. <laughs> I can see you're going to be trouble. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Farewell, Captain. Back already, Captain. Uh, help me and Corso finish this robust steak. Don't let this fine cut of meat go to waste. Boss, quit acting like it's your last meal. Rogan the Butcher isn't going to kill you. I won't blow this, trust me. Until I've recovered those stolen blasters, I'll eat and drink like there's no tomorrow. Nice work, Intolerant. We're getting somewhere in this hunt for Skavik. Ricky told me he gave you a way into the Separatist hideout. Said something about a secret entrance? I always wondered how Ricky could steal so much from Manit Point and not get caught. Getting into Manit Point will be extra tricky. For one thing, you have to swim there. When the Separatists invaded, they blew up the only bridge leading onto the island. Turned it into their private resort. You'll be walking into the Ranker's Den, Captain. I'll do it blindfolded, just for fun. Don't get cocky. That place is crawling with people who'd like to blast that grin off your face. If you download the Separatist computer files onto this data pad and bring it back here, we'll handle the rest. I'd rather go with you, Captain. My Vira Blade's pretty good for chopping Separatists off at the knees. I call it Huey. Forget about the Separatist, Corso. I want that slicer kit here before the Captain comes back. I'm on it, boss. Good luck at Man at Point, Captain. Last thing I need is Corso turning one-man army out there. Kid'll just get himself killed for nothing. 
Separatists wiped out his family a couple of years ago. Corso took it personal. How did Corso wind up working for you? He started as warehouse labor, but he took to fighting like a Firaxan shark to water. Vidu, there's someone named Rogan calling on the Holo. He sounds upset. Oh, that's all I need. Uh, stall him for me, sweetheart. Remember the plan. Disrupt Manet Point's power relays, get inside Reiki's old home, and use those schematics to enter the Separatist base. When you're in, slice into the Separatist computer and download everything onto my datapad. Good luck. I became starship captain so I wouldn't have to do homework. Come on, Force, and say it just like I taught you. The Republic lackeys will drown in lakes of fire and blood, Master. Death to all who oppose the people's will, Master. Hey there. Uh, we had some trouble with the power relays. I need to check on the computer core. You mind? Master, I detect the presence of several non-functioning humans, specifically the bodies over there. Setting alert status red. This is about to get real ugly for you. Force an open fire! Combat protocols activated. Leave me alone, Bracco. If Vito knew about this, he'd... Vito? That blob can't even protect himself. It's only a matter of time before Rogan the Butcher punches your fat meal ticket for good. You better start thinking about the future, girl. When vidu has gone, you'll need new friends. Captain, thank goodness. I could use your help here. 
There's nothing wrong with you scum a good thrashing won't fix. You just picked a fight with the wrong bunch of guys, pal. Any last words? <laughs> Never mind. We don't care. You killed them all. For me. Thank you, Captain. I don't know what else to say. Relax. Everything's gonna be alright. If there's any way I can repay you, I will. What Bracco said was true. Rogue and the Butcher will kill Vidu if those blasters don't turn up. Vidu can't protect me anymore. He's not half the man you are. Well, let's find a nice, quiet spot to talk about that. I can't do that to Vidu right now. Maybe when the danger is past. I should go. Vidu's waiting for you. I won't forget your kindness, Captain. Farewell for now. I left a big mess in my warehouse. Cyrena says it was Bracco's fault, but now I've got a serious morale problem. What I do and why I do it is nobody's business but mine. The last thing I need is some loose cannon blowing holes in my employees. I hope you didn't come back from Mana Point empty-handed, Captain. You did good, Captain. Corsa found us a terrific little slicer kit, so we're ready to decrypt that data. We'll know where to find Skavik soon, but until then, I've got a special job that only you can do. Not if you had all the credits in the galaxy. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't life and death. I need you to keep Rogan the Butcher off our backs. Cyrena stalled him earlier, but it's not enough. We need to distract Rogan by giving him something he really wants. A canister of some special chemicals from a nearby village. The big boom run? Are you kidding, boss? I can see it making Rogan's day, but it's blasted risky. All I care about is finding Skavik and getting back what's mine. If we don't get Rogan off our backs, you won't get the chance to do that. Hear me out. There's a loopy scientist with a chemical that can supercharge artillery cannons, makes them do more damage. But it's less stable than a drunk Savrip on a speeder bike. Handle it wrong, and suddenly you're little chunks of ex-captain. Sure, it's tricky, but you've got the skill to get it here. Did I mention this run pays unbelievably well? It's worth a shot. Fantastic. I won't even haggle down on your feet. That's how much I respect you. Trimbo is the scientist's name. Got a place in Oradam Village. I'll let him know you're coming. See me before you make that run, Captain. We should talk. <laughs> Captain, the big boom run isn't a stroll on the beach. You'll need an edge to make it back alive. This here is a Sorosub SSK Heavy Blaster. It's cut for a quick draw and got a hair trigger. I call it Flashy. Flashy can bullseye Saver between the eyes five times before the critter even knows it's dead. Here, take it. If I take this, what will you use in a fight? I can take care of business just fine with Huey here. Best of luck, Captain. Don't get killed, all right? <laughs> 